So it looks like one of the largest retailers and one of the largest sneaker resellers are coming together. Is it a desperate attempt or is it a smart business move? Let's talk about it. What's going on everybody? My name is Blaze and Nico and we are back with yet another video. Today we have more of a discussion. We're not even going to be going over a certain shoe. We're going to be going over the landscape of something huge happening in the business world of reselling sneakers. Right now we're less than one and a half percent of the viewers of the channel being subscribed to the channel. So if we can go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit some like buttons, let's enjoy this video. Let's talk. So with some recent news, Walmart and StockX have come to an agreement and they will be selling StockX verified shoes on Walmart's website directly. From all of the different news resources that I looked up, this is a push for Walmart on their online marketplace. Obviously, they're one of the largest retailers, especially in the US, I'm not sure about the world, but they wanna push out some more stuff online as well. So this wouldn't be the first time that Walmart is allowing a third-party seller on their websites. They allow third-party people to sell through Walmart. I'm sure they get a commission for it and all the shipping things. Probably goes through a Walmart warehouse or they have a specific UPS, FedEx, UPS thing system that they use, but this time they are going through StockX for verified resale sneakers. That being said, I'm pretty sure you were able to sell, if you had a third party account, sell sneakers on Walmart, but obviously there was no authentication process, verification process for those shoes. So adding StockX to Walmart is definitely a huge change for their system. In terms of the sneaker market right now, in terms of resale and honestly retail as well, a lot of shoes are sitting. So maybe StockX is trying to get into more of the retail side where they can have that retail presence instead of people going directly to StockX or maybe it's the opposite. Walmart wants a little bit more of that hype more of the sneaker game into their website for their online platform to grow as well. So even though the shoes are coming from the Walmart website, they are pre-verified shoes and they will actually ship directly from StockX. So I went ahead and checked out Walmart's website just to see what the prices were on a few shoes. So one big thing is that there is no additional fees outside of the price that you see. Obviously you may pay taxes of course for your state but there's no processing fees like on a gold or a stock x and there's also no shipping at all involved with that being said i'm pretty sure that they tried to fix in the fees in a set price instead of showing you a certain price adding the fees and then adding the shipping they probably just bundle it all together i'm not sure if walmart and StockX came up with a certain shipping agreement since the shipping will be free from StockX in terms of when you order from StockX themselves, you have to pay that processing fee and the shipping fee on top of the price of the shoe. So I went ahead and looked at a couple of popular shoes just to compare the price of the Walmart final price to a StockX final price. So if we take a look at the Bread Reimagines that came out earlier in 2024, you can see that price of $303 on Walmart. And then when you go ahead and put in a StockX, it's actually a little bit cheaper on StockX, so in this case, buying them from Walmart, you actually do not save money when it comes to purchasing from this platform to that platform, but it also varies by shoe and by size. Now, if we take a look at the Jordan 11 Low Space Jam that also released in 2024, the price is sitting at like 223, if I got my numbers correct, on the Walmart website, you know, prior to taxes and everything but then i went ahead and added to cart for stock x and you can see we're at 252 253 so you're also saving about 30 dollars on this shoe so it really is case by case you need to check the shoe on walmart's website all the fees blah 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 the taxes you need to check on stock x as well so it may be a case where on this shoe you can save a little bit of money maybe on a hype shoe maybe smarter to go through stock x directly but Honestly, I, I don't see a problem with either or option. Personally, I think that Walmart is trying to have some competition with these huge online brands. Obviously, Amazon is probably the largest, especially in the US, and they do allow resellers and third parties on there. I believe they used to allow Nike to sell directly through them as well. So being able to have some third party stuff, some resale sneakers on Walmart, I'm sure this is going to open a lot of gates to even more platforms, who knows, maybe Target or different different huge retailers that can line up with these resale stores to drive a different market that they usually don't see eyes on their website. Obviously, Walmart is a tycoon when it comes to the retail space in person. They're trying to add to that 
online as well and obviously StockX is probably the biggest reselling market on obviously people use StockX for everything they use it to gauge the market on what shoes are going for how much they should buy them for how much they should sell them for so those two coming together can be a great business venture like i mentioned the sneaker market has been down so being able to push it on a different website get different eyes on it maybe they can expand their horizons to different people that they don't usually get that come directly to StockX. so i can see it definitely being a great thing for both brands and honestly for the sneaker market in general. These two huge businesses are trying to grow and reach new platforms and so am I. We're sitting at 771 subscribers at the time of this video. I wanna thank you guys for tuning in. The journey has been a great time so far. I love the grind. I love interacting with people. Please make sure to hit that like button. Please subscribe to the channel. Drop some comments. I love constructive criticism. I love to talk to everybody in the comments down below. Until next time, thank you guys.